More than a century ago, automobile enthusiasts created companies to build racing machines, not unlike today's computer tech world. And today we're going to talk about the Bentley Continental GT on this episode of The Real DC Car Guy. Let's have a look and find out if this is truly the elegant luxury car is really worth the quarter of a million US dollars to purchase it. Welcome to The Real DC Car Guy. And this week, we're on Maryland's Eastern Shore reviewing the 2021 Bentley Continental GT V8. W.O. Bentley was an automotive enthusiast, and in 1919, he created the company named after him. Here we are a century later, Bentley continues to make some of the most iconic cars in the world. While America and the rest of the world are driving SUVs, and Bentley makes the Bentega an SUV. But we're testing out this gorgeous coupe, the Continental GT, which has been around since 2003. Bentley was kind enough to send us this car for the weekend, and it is Memorial Day weekend 2021, to check out and to give you a report about the elegance and luxury that can only come in a Bentley Continental. It has a $202,500 base price and has more than $57,000 in options. Let's have a look to see if it truly is the elegant luxury car that is aspired to by many. And if you like cars, just chat away with me. I'll do it all the time. So. I'm gonna throw you on my Instagram. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> all right, so how do we start this? There's that. All right, let's see how this thing works. No, no. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. So let's get a feel of it. That's paddle shifter, so let's feel how that... Not bad. It's got the automatic on, off, start. The automatic engine off, which I'm not a big fan of, but it really isn't too bad with this one. The steering wheel is very meaty, actually oval-esque in feel, so it's not like um, the steering wheel just doesn't just grab over your hand. Very soft and comfortable ride. You know that the bumps, they're there, but they, you don't feel them. You just and know you're going over them. Visibility is actually pretty good, even though it has the sloping roof line that it has, and uh, big, strong A-pillars. Don't you love the finish on these A-pillars? This whole headliner with this beautiful Alcaterra finish. The Bentley's very well behaved in traffic, which is nice for a big car. Though you can hear the gurgle and it wants to get out there and do something. Uh, the car is comfortable. You really don't know what else is going on around you. You don't really hear the other things. The very good sound insulation. The insulated um, glass. I think the noisiest thing in this car right now is the sound of the air. Not that the fan is making a big noise. It's just the flow of air coming out of the HVAC system. You hear the nice little hum of the engine. And uh, it's definitely one of those cars that you want to take out on the road. It's big and wide and powerful. It's got a nice little growling noise that the engine makes there. Check out the power, because you can just feel that it has a lot of power to it with this 
big V8 that it has in it. Probably one of the best mannered V8 vehicles that I've ever driven before. Very quiet, very smooth, very reliably dependable. You kind of know what you're going to get out of it. You can turn the screen off totally. Nice big clean navigation screen. Not real in depth like Audi's, but still uh, very clear. Pull these in and out for airflow. So we did the spoiler. That's kind of cool that you can retract and um, erect the spoiler. The Bentley Continental stands out with its elegant lines from the front to the back. A swooping roof line, elegant door lines. The Continental GT has the Mulliner specification black package, which includes black trim throughout the vehicle, all around the windows, along the lower waistline, and of course the 22 inch black wheels with the standout red painted Continental brakes. There's the Bentley logo throughout the vehicle and even here in the gas cap has the Bentley logo on it. The Bentley does not feature an ostentatious hood ornament. It has a very simple Bentley logo with the spread wings and the large B. While this Continental GT does not come with a sliding sunroof, it has a glass panel roof with a sliding interior shade. And of course, as you're going down the road at a quick pace, you'll want to actuate the rear spoiler when you're in sport mode. And one of the things that you're going to find in the Bentley is that the rear trunk is spacious enough for luggage and or for your golf clubs. And if you're going off to the slopes, there's even a pass-through in the center of the rear seats that drops down for you to slide your skis in. And of course, push button open and close. Now one of the things that you're going to find with Continental GT is the fact that it is a four seat vehicle. It is a two door coupe. Though it has four seats, you may not want to put your longer leg passengers in those rear seats. In essence, this is more of a two-seat sports coupe. Headlight design. There are many of my colleagues who feel that these headlights should be changed over and the smaller uh, directional light should be moved in. But these are full LED lights with gorgeous cut crystal interiors that light up the road very, very well. And of course, the black trimmed grille, which behind resides the coolers to keep this eight cylinder engine operating at perfect temperature. You'll also notice that this car is V8 powered. You can get a Bentley Continental GT with a 12 cylinder engine, but you'll see that this one is tagged as a V8. Pops right up to 85 miles an hour without even a question. Very planted feel. Going around, nice feel around the clover leaf. Let's see how our acceleration is to get up into traffic. It's not even a problem. Just takes off when you want it to go. 
Let's talk about the 4-liter twin turbocharged V8 engine with 243.9 cubic inches of induction. The twin scroll turbochargers provide 550 pounds of pressure and 542 horsepower with torque of 770 newton meters. 86 millimeter bore by 86 millimeter, that's 3.39 inches stroke with a compression ratio of 10.1 to one. Premium fuel delivery is through direct injection, overhead camshaft with adjustable duration with 32 valves. And this engine features cylinder deactivation. So four cylinders, valves, and fuel are deactivated at a light load, which does help for improved fuel economy. Why is the Bentley Continental GT a $262,000 proposition? Well, first of all, they are very individually made. Each one is handcrafted and built on the assembly line in Crew England. If you're looking to buy a new Continental GT from Bentley, there are Bentley motor car boutiques around the country in various metropolitan areas. Here in the Washington DC area, we have exclusive automotive in Vienna, Virginia, and they'll soon be moving to a brand new state-of-the-art facility in Ashburn, Virginia. So if you're looking for a Bentley Continental GT, you don't have to think about just a brand new one. Certainly previously owned ones are a very, very viable option. As these vehicles not only stand the test of time, they also hold their value. We want to thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Real DC Car Guy as we reviewed the 2021 Bentley Continental GT V8. Please press that like button and follow us for more car and truck reviews and stories on the automotive lifestyle. We look forward to seeing you again on our next episode of The Real DC Car Guy. Until then.